Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What you have just heard is the gavel of democracy in service to the people and the rule of law. The two, democracy and the rule of law, are inseparable. Let us be a shining example today that will make our children proud and our democracy strengthen. Electors and guests, as specified by federal law today, Monday, December 14th, 2020, is the first Monday after the second Wednesday in December in the hour of 2 p.m. having arrived, the proceedings of the California Electoral College for the selection of the President and Vice President of the United States are now in order. My name is Kevin Mullen. I'm the Speaker Pro Tem of the California State Assembly. The Electoral College is formed every four years for the sole purpose of formally electing President and Vice President of the United States of America as required by the Constitution of the United States of America. We welcome you to the chambers of the California State Assembly in the California State Capitol for this purpose. I would personally like to thank California Assembly Speaker Anthony Rendon for designating me to convene our historic proceedings today. I would also like to acknowledge the staff here in the California State Assembly, as well as the Democratic Party, for making all the ne necessary arrangements to make today's session a success and compliant with constitutional requirement, as well as our Sergeant at Arms for ensuring a smooth session today. We too would like to welcome the viewers of KCR KCRA TV here in Sacramento, as well as viewers of C-SPAN and other media outlets from across the country who are following these proceedings today. California, the most populous state in these United States, will be formally casting its votes for the winner of our state's popular vote, Joseph R. Biden and vice presidential running mate, California's own Kamala Harris. Today's proceeding in this chamber has added historical significance as it is expected that when California's 55 electoral votes are cast, Joseph R. Biden will have properly secured more than the requisite 270 electoral votes to formally be elected President of the United States of America. We ask at this time that our elector designates and staff in the chamber please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Kate Williams, you are recognized for the pledge, Ms. Williams. Please place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. The first order of business is the roll call of the electors. As this unfolds, please remain standing as you hear your name called and until the names of all 55 electors have been called. The clerk will call the roll. Brian Sulecki. Thomas McInerney. Elizabeth Can. Kara Betchel. Mary Bowker, Ann Sanger, Janine Barra, Catherine Bancroft, Jillian McNerney, Donna Kirkvalit Varin, Jane Pandell. Maddie Scott, Lanice Jones, Paul McCloskey, Freddie Davis, Marsha Conant, Amy Rao, David Kennedy, Catherine Wilkinson, Vincent Kohler, 
Stephen Dybert, Patty Cabuletti, Brock Neely, Madeline Handy, Brandon Zavala, Franklin Lima, Naomi Tomita, Wallace Knox, Ronald Herrera, William Prady, Christina Marquez, Andre Quintero, Jahi Hua, Mark Gonzalez, Robert Torres, Augustine Ariola, Yolanda Parker, Catherine Ward, Jackie Cisneros, Betty Monroy, Suzanne Singer, Brandon Benjamin, Karen Walters, Emily Dredd, Lee Fink, Nalita Mendoza, Alex Norman, Aaron Sturdevant, Kevin Sabalico, Peter Boland, Shirley Weber, Janice Brown, Brian Fletcher, Rosalind Wyman, Tate Williams. I will be administering the oath of office simultaneously to all elector designates. May I ask all electors to raise their right hands for the oath of office of elector for president and vice president of the United States of America, for the office of elector for president and vice president of the United States of America, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter, if so, please affirm your oath by stating, I do. I do. Congratulations, you may be seated. There is an oath distributed at your desks that is to be signed where indicated. We will now move to nominations for the Office of Chairperson of California's Electoral College for the selection of President and Vice President of the United States. The nominations are now open. Mark Gonzalez of Congressional District 34 is recognized for the purpose of nomination. Mr. Gonzalez. Good afternoon, electors and friends. My name is Mark Gonzalez, and I proudly represent the 34th Congressional District, and I am pleased to nominate Assemblymember Shirley Weber as Chairperson for California's Electoral College 2020. This nomination requires a second. Kevin Sabellico of CD49 is recognized to second the nomination of Mr. Gonzalez. Mr. Sabellico. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. 
I am Kevin Sabellico of Congressional District 49, and I second the nomination of Assemblymember Shirley Weber as chairperson for California's Electoral College for 2020. Are there any further nominations for the Office of Chair of the Electoral College of 2020? Seeing and hearing none, nominations for the Office of Chair of the Electoral College of 2020 are now closed. We will move to a voice vote to elect the Chair of the Electoral College. Is there any objection to a voice vote? Seeing and hearing no objections, all in favor of electing Assemblymember Shirley Weber as the Chairperson of the Electoral College, say aye. Opposed, say nay. The ayes have it. Assemblymember Shirley Weber, congratulations. You are elected chairperson of the California Electoral College for the selection of the president and vice president of the United States of America. Please come to the rostrum. Electors and guests, I am pleased to present to you the chairperson of the California Electoral College for the selection of the president and vice president of the United States for 2020 assembly member and my great colleague, Shirley Weber. Thank you, uh, assembly member Mullen, and thanks to all of you who are electors for having selected me as chair of the electoral college. I think all of us realize just how significant this experience is. Most of you, like me, read about it when you were a kid in school. Never knew what the Electoral College was. Thought it was some building somewhere that maybe people went to school in. But we learned over time that this is an important part of our Constitution. It's an important part of our process, the orderly process and the transference of power. But it's also a part of our representation, making sure that every person who votes in California, who votes in this nation, have the right to have their vote count and to be represented by the Electoral College. If you've traveled around the world, you have seen the tragedies that occur when you don't have an orderly transference of power. And we are proud of the fact that in this nation, we have always had an orderly transference of power. And despite what we may think we see outside, it is here today. And that is what we're doing, representing the people of California. So I'm honored that you've asked me to chair this as a child who's the parents of sharecroppers, whose grandparents never got a chance to vote in Hope, Arkansas, I am sure they're beaming down realizing that their daughter, their granddaughter, is an elector. But not only just an elector, but the chair of the college that is going to complete the business we began on November 3rd. So once again, thank you so very much for your faith and confidence and, and participation in this process. As we begin, there are six electors that we are, una that are unable to be here today. And to fill those vacancies, we have a nomination, a vote, and an administration of the oath of office. Without objection, I'm requesting the unanimous consent to fill all of the vacancies at one time. This motion requires a second. And, the, and, uh, and so therefore, I'm asking for the motion to basically nominate those individuals who are here. The nominations are open for replacement of electors to fill the vacancies for the second, for these congress several congressional districts and seat vacancies and Senate vacancies that we see. CD 21, CD 37, CD 47, CD 28 and 38, and the Senate seat uh, for Senator Feinstein needs to be filled. There are six vacancies. Is there a motion on the floor? Okay, yes. Ms. Scott. Mm -hmm. Madam Chair, I am Maddie Scott, and I nominate Joseph Cox, Rusty Hicks, Joy Atkinson, Yvette Martinez, John Casey. And Daryl Steinberg to fill the vacancies for congressional districts 21, 28, 37, 38, 47, and one Senate appointment. There's a request for a second. Ms. Jahi Hu. Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Jihi Ha, and I second the nomination of the replacement electors Joseph Cox, Rusty Hicks, 
Joy Atkinson, Yvette Martinez, John Casey, and Daryl Steinberg to fill the vacancies for the congressional districts, CD 21, 28, 37, 38, 47, and the one Senate appointment. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any further nominations? Hearing and seeing none, the nominations for replacement electors are now closed. We will take a voice vote on the appointment of replacement electors to fill the vacancies. Is there an objection to a voice vote? Seeing no objections, all, of these, all those in favor of appointing Joseph Patrick Cox, Rusty Hicks, Joyce At Joy Atkinson, Yvette Martinez, John Casey, and Daryl Steinberg to fill the vacancies being specified by saying aye. aye. All those opposed say nay. The ayes have it, and therefore uh, Joseph Patrick Cox, Rusty Hicks, Joy Atkinson, Yvette Martinez, John Casey, and Dale Steinberg are appointed to fill the vacancies. The electors designate now should stand at their desk, and Assemblymember Mullins will now administer the oath of office. Thank you, sir. For the office of elector for president and vice president of the United States of America, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of California, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation, or purpose of evasion and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter. If so, please affirm your oath by stating, I do. I do. Congratulations. Congratulations and thank you for accepting that responsibility. Uh, you may be seated as you have, and a copy of the oath is on your desk. Please sign and print your name where indicated and leave it on your desk. Thank you so much. I'm appointing nine tellers for California's Electoral College for 2020. They are seated throughout the chamber, and so congratulations to those of you on your designation as a teller. We will now undertake the important task of voting on behalf of the Californians for President of the United States. Electors, you will find a blue ballot for president on your desk. Please sign the ballot where indicated. We have, um, you need to hold up on it for just a second. We're going to do that. We're going to collect those ballots. But we also have to select a secretary at this time. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and ask the tellers to collect the ballots. And once we have collected the ballots, to hold the ballots while we select a secretary. Uh, Selim Member Weber? Yes. Uh, my name is Mark Gonzalez. I'm proudly representing the 34th Congressional District, and I nominate Franklin Lima as Secretary of California's Electoral College 2020. 
Is there a second to the nomination of secretary? Madam Chair, I am Kevin Sabellico of CD49, and I second the nomination of Franklin Lima as secretary of California's Electoral College for 2020. Are there any additional nominations for secretary? Hearing and seeing none, we will now take a voice vote. Is there any objection to doing a voice vote? Seeing no objection to that, we will now vote for Mr. Lima for secretary. All those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say nay. Congratulations, Mr. Lima. You are now secretary of the uh, Electoral College. Please collect the ballots, teller, and bring them to Mr. Lima. Thank you very much. Thank you, Secretary Lima. I will now announce the, t announce the tally of the vote for the Office of President of the United States. For Joseph R. Biden of Delaware, a Democrat, eyes 55, nose zero.
Now we will undertake the, the vote for Vice President of the United States. Electors, you will find the red ballot for Vice President on your desk. Please sign the ballot where indicated. Tellers, please collect the ballots. I will now announce the tally for the votes for the Office of Vice President of the United States. For Senator Kamala D. Harris of California, a Democrat, eyes 55, nose zero.
Yes. <laughs> Our next order of business is the signing of official documents. Please remain in your, on your desk while the tellers collect additional signatures from you and review the documents for completeness. This is a very important part of the process. This process may take up to 30 minutes. Please remain socially distanced during, the requirement, during this requirement and do not leave your seat. We will let you know when we are dismissed. This is an extremely important process, so do not leave until we are absolutely finished and we are dismissed. At this time, uh, we will complete the tellers. We'll work with you on the documents that you need to sign, to officially sign, to make this, this experience we've had today, this important part of the democracy, official.